Today we're leaving the city. Moving on now. To Skokie. To a Moe's Deluxe Queso in the sky. Where we're moving on. Never had Moe's, I'm super excited for it. First time for everything. Trying to pop my Moe's cherry. Mo, pop my cherry. Right into the queso. Right into it, pop it. I uh, bet you that's what comes uh. out of my cherry's queso. <laughs> you are lying through your teeth, you little demon. Today we're leaving Chicago, Illinois and going to the first suburb just north of it called Skokie. Because we did our Chipotle queso versus our Cadoba queso. Whoa. <laughs> I actually don't mind that. That's just not what I expected it to taste like. I don't mind it. No, I like that. I heard a lot of bad things about this. So maybe it's because my, like I thought it was going to be bad. My mm -hmm. standards are so low. People are like, where's Moe's? Nobody yelled at you. I feel like I got in a lot of Quit personal making them emails. seem bad. We got some really nice people. They probably, this is probably what it was more like. Hey, hey you guys should, should try Moe's. Moe's is awesome. And I'm like, <laughs> and Sean's wow. like, you okay. f***ing assholes. Well, let's eat queso together. <laughs> People in the suburbs are so nice. It's unbelievable. I don't know if it's suburbs or Moe's, but I just had an incredible experience. I'm gonna share it with you at some point. Skokie, Lincolnwood, doing well. One, chicken queso burrito, known as the home wrecker at Moe's Southwest Grill. Weird name, normally negative connotation. Negative connotation normally. Red hair leads to a paternity war. Corey's sister says he's not the dad. All she does is manipulate and lie to my brother. And a big old bucket of queso. So today, Moe's acquired jump cut. Welcome. Welcome to the northern suburbs. Here we are. Probably one of the coolest things about Moe's that we didn't know is the salsa bar is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You can just sit there, five different kinds of salsa made fresh every day from mild to scorpion pepper. Yep. I put three scoops in my back pocket, <laughs> taking that home with me. Also, the manager, I don't know if he's the manager, or like the shift manager, or just a regular employee, guy was just like, you're from the city, take a bunch of chips, you guys are us. Just literally like one of the coolest experiences yeah, at a fast food style restaurant that I've probably had in a long, Super long time. Super awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our big old bucket of queso, which is an admirable size. Oh, check it out what it says there. Yeah, I saw that, time to play two truths and a lime. Uh, so that's gonna be delicious with this, this is, all filled with tortilla chips. That's yeah. amazing. That is all the whole we, family. By the way, that's not what you get normally, but the goodness of that guy's heart, he just was like, oh, you guys are awesome. We're gonna throw this in there since you guys came all the way from Chicago, because this was a heck of a drive for us. And then you even get it in like a banquet bowl. Like, yeah, gonna, that's <laughs> like this is what the chickens from Kroger's come yeah, it's in. It's rotisserie you know? chicken. Yeah. You get some chips and you get this big old burrito. I mean, it's just looking awesome. Yeah, it looks great. So we're splitting our burrito. This has got a lot of juices in it. I can feel it. This is going to be <laughs> unsafe to cut. A lot of juices. Hey, I don't want to have to clean this tray ever, right. if at all possible. <laughs> I never want to clean this tray. Once again, the perforated edge method, since you don't have a good knife in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> the master has his God, skills so still. good at that. So not only was that cut really impressive, but you can really see deep into this burrito. Right. We got black beans, brown rice, chicken, chicken. guacamole, queso, spicy salsa. Bacon. Bacon. Sour cream. Sour cream and shredded cheese. Yeah, we went all out. What do you know about that? Ugh, dude, I'm just, I love freaking burritos, man. Yeah. Love them. It's a very efficient and fun way to eat lunch. I love burritos. Yeah, this queso looks a lot similar, more similar, similarly, to Cadoba's. Mmm, creamy cheese. You can see some veggies in there too, but mostly cheese. Yeah, them spices are, uh, they're there, but I think this is more so just a great consistency, I'm assuming. Initial thoughts on how that looks. Delicious. Well packaged. Oh, sweet. I don't think that'll work. Can I attach it to my nipple? It's a good way it? to catch anything that falls. That's a good point. This is the, I guess, chicken queso home wrecker if you want to it wreck someone's home that cheated and boom. Cheers. Oh my God. Mmm. That spice. Oh, and we got spicy chicken. Oh, yeah, that's right. We it's said, right. it's a chicken. And he goes, spicy or non spicy? And we're like, yeah. Yeah. I think you already know the answer to that, sir. He was like, I've never even met you guys before. Who I are thought you? he knew us at first. I got like a vibe. What do you need? 
Kind mm -hmm. of thing of like, I'll hook you up. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. Nobody knows who we are. No, he was just the freaking world's nicest guy. Mm -hmm. He was so freaking nice. You know when like someone's really nice to you, you just assume they like know you or something. Mm -hmm. Nah, he was just dope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dude, mm -hmm. can I say something? Mm -hmm. I think this burrito. Mm. Blows Cadoba and Chipotle's out Dude, of the Dude, I think this is the best burrito I've had from like a fast food burrito place. This right. Super good. Everything about it, it does all the things right that I wanted. Like Chipotle, where it falters, this picks up for it. Mm -hmm. Cadoba, where it falters, this picks up for yeah, it. Great dude. queso. I love the spice. Shut your mouth when you're eating. Mm. And I think because this was founded in the southeastern part of the country, they just know it better. They also do spices more. They're mm -hmm. more about peppers, where Chipotle's not really like doing anything great with spice. And anytime you can throw bacon in the mix. Oh, I forgot about that. No wonder my taste buds are like, holy. Amazing. Oh yeah, don't forget everybody. Tonight, we're doing our dinner. If you're a Patreon member and you're donating 25 bucks a month, you're more than welcome to join our Skype. Just send us an email. If you ever done it yet, you better freaking hustle because sometimes if we get those too late, we won't be able to get you on the list. But mm -hmm. if you want to be able to once a month hang out with us for like 45 minutes to an hour or whatever, have dinner with us over Skype, get on Patreon, donate 25 bones a month. You'll be part of the crew, part of the club. We almost had 90 people, dog. That was so awesome. Man, this is definitely the best burrito. There's no doubt in my mind now. Agree. I'm blown away. Now, what's really interesting to me, though, is this. I still can find a spot for Chipotle, because Chipotle is different, and there's like certain times where I just crave that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, how to put my finger on what, whatever it is. I agree. But this is so comparable to Cadoba. So if there was all three of these places, Moe's, and Cadoba, and Chipotle, all three next to each other, they were all really close to my house, I would never go to Cadoba. Yeah. I would every... Sometimes I would go to Chipotle. I would right. still find a time where I'd be like, you know what, I'm in the mood for Chipotle. But this is so similar to Cadoba's, but better. Right. I just feel like I would never go there. That's uh I've never been to a Moe's, I don't think. I totally agree. And I like Cadoba, but Moe's does Cadoba better. <laughs> yeah. And I agree too. Like I do really like Cadoba. Yeah. I mean sure their tacos kind of suck, but I don't go to these places for tacos. Yeah, I'm never getting tacos. I only did that for the show. I never would have gotten tacos anyways. Right. So like, but their burritos are good, but this is just better. Moe's. Let's work together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanna oh my god, fly us to Atlanta. Just like Cadoba, guac and queso. There's no extra charge to your burrito. It, so it's eight fifteen for the burrito. Now we got the queso as well, which is five bucks. That's a little pricey, but we it got is the a large giant queso, one. Yeah. But eight bucks for that burrito? Yeah, I mean, because think about it, fourteen dollars, right? So if you split a burrito and split a large queso and chips and salsa with a friend, you're all, you're each paying seven dollars, and this is going to be a good amount of food, mm -hmm. which we'll now show you. Now I just want to talk like Perd Happily. The thing we're about to do. I'm Perd Happily, and I just realized I'm not holding my microphone. Oh, it's about to be so good. That was really good. Holy crap. Dunkaroos. Oh, oh the... it's like a really good creaminess. Yeah. Sorry. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Come back up. There we go. Sorry. Cheers. Oh, creamy baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so different than Cadoba's. Mm-hmm. The texture is everything. Look at that. It's like, you know what? <laughs> this is going to be funny because the thing I'm going to compare it to isn't edible. It's the same consistency as Whiteout. It is. <laughs> It's got like a total like Elmer's glue white out type of vibe to it. But man, does it not taste like glue? Like, whoa, holy crap, that's so cool. Dude. It's viscous. It's viscosity is. Take a look at this. Hi. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes like a Oh my god. It kind of reminds me of what like I would get nachos at like a fair. <laughs> yeah. Which like I really, like. really fatty cheese. Yeah, which man, I'm all about. Good. Dude, look at it freaking fall up. That's so it's so thick. Like we said in our last video too about queso, if you're eating queso, I hope you're not one of those people that's like, well, their queso is a little better for you. Yeah, Dog, right? you're eating too much dairy. Just, yeah. just enjoy it. Have your cheat meal and then get back to whatever sad diet you're on. Mm. Oh man. Yeah, I straight up think I like their queso better too. 100%. Dude, how is Moe's not the biggest thing? Just straight marketing? I don't know. They came around later. Yeah, that's always tough. They weren't founded until after 2000. All right, you want to try the salsa? Yeah. So it's a scorpion? Scorpion pepper. The hottest one they make. Oh, yeah, this is seasonal. This is only, I'm not sure how long they have this for. This is scorpion pepper season. Mmm, interesting flavor. I think our taste buds are so burned off. Yeah, right? It's Well, it's coming a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of got like a... Um, Are you getting some sweetness in yours? Yeah, it's got like a tomato-y... I mean, it's obviously tomato because it's salsa, but like... Right. It has more of a... More tomato than most salsa, more... Yeah. Where that flavor comes through more. Yeah, I could eat this on anything. Yeah, this is really good. 
And the more I eat of it, the stronger the spice gets, thank right. God. Uh-huh. So like you guys said, you can't sleep on Moe's. If you do Chipotle versus Cadoba, it's not fair to not include Moe's. You could not be more correct. I'm glad we had an opportunity to, we had to go on a hike to come out here, by the way. These chips are good. <clears throat> Well, go down the pipe, got that spice? It just hit, you ever have it where it hits the back of your throat? That's the scorpion going, F you. Yeah, a little stinger in there. Uh-huh. Damn, are you tasty. Man, yeah, dude, I'm blown away by all this. Oh, man. I could watch, it's like a hourglass. Dude, that is spicy. I had about five or six chips. Yeah, it comes through after a while. <laughs> and then the creaminess of this, Mm, brings me right back to my happy place. Yep, it must have uh, whole milk in there. Cools it down. <laughs> yeah, the fat is what gets you, and yes, this has some. Mm, I like going back and forth. This cheese, you wanna know about this cheese? This cheese saved my life. How? I was robbing a bank, and uh, I was outnumbered. This cheese came in firing. Did it have a gun? No, it's viscosity. Drowned people outside the bank doors. We have got away scot-free. Kind of like how God drowned the world, like a whole thing of. Uh... Like how God drowned the world. And you were like the Noah of robbing banks? They call me the Noah of robbing a bank. And my friend, Scott Free Cheese, started his own toilet paper business, Scott's, on the side. You're friends with the original Scott's guy? He's my buddy. He Is that the same guy who does the like lawn care stuff, like Scott's? That's my buddy. Fertilizer? Like, yeah, by day, it's lawns, by night, diarrhea. Mmm. What the hell is that? Dude, I've gone to another place. This queso is seriously so good. One bite of this, and you will be completely fine not being skinny anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, well, it looks like I'm not eating healthy ever again. Whatever. You had any cool things happen today? No, not really. My life sucks. <laughs> this is the coolest thing that happened to me, eating this. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Well, you could do Moe's from The Simpsons. Out of five, Moe's from The Simpsons. Thanks to Corey. How many Moe's do you give the Moe's Southwest Grill Queso? I'm gonna go with a 4.5. That's a high score, I have to imagine. I don't know how my scoring system works anymore. We've done too much stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give this queso a perfect five out of five. I know how my scoring works. It's normally just be way too gung-ho about stuff. I mean, it's pretty much how I live my life. This is amazing though. This is worth a five. We're gonna close this video out because I don't wanna turn just, you guys on too much. Yeah, it's just gonna be us eating these for the next, how, however long it takes for it to be gone. Cause uh, there's a few no. chips left. <laughs> Eat it bitch, it's always good. No, of course, subscribe. And donate to us on Patreon if you want to be one of the 90 members who are monetarily making this channel grow. Even if it's just one buck, man. One buck a month, seriously, we love you. We would love it. Here, you guys want some? You want the last one? You want it. You 